experiment in macro making. So here's the still the mold. Next. But for this video, we're not going to need this kind of tool. Actually, we don't need it, but it will be very useful. Well, it's directly translates to in my country, I think, as a third arm. It's got a small magnifying glass, which I actually never used in my life. Here, you can see the paint stained parts are the most important. The, pli the pliers or the clips, however you want to call them. Why they're important? Because this is how we're going to make the arms we're gonna make them from piece of plastic like this this is an old sim card for mold you can see i used it to mix epoxy together well it will be just fine uh trusty hobby pliers which are dull but good enough and an old frame which, if you look closely, I just need to look closely, that is a very interesting thing. If you look at the Necron hands, they have a very rectangular trapezoid like shape here. Yeah, therefore, if you look at the mold frame, it looks very, very similar. So what I usually do and how I make my frame, my uh, arms, is I just cut a bit off and another bit. And that's the face for the claws. They are nice and thick, good plastic. Open up. Making them in this way is very easy because you don't mix left from right. You just make them opposite. The tool is not the best thing, but it's damn useful and it's cheap too. I bought it on eBay for approximately four to five dollars, depending on the exchange rate, because I don't live in US, also don't live in UK, so don't ask me for exact prices. It's, it's a little bit difficult. So, having this one, we use. A little bit of super glue. This one is nice with this plunge, so kind of a pump. But unfortunately, it has most of them. I've been using it for some time. I need to twist it off. Oh, it got stuck. <laughs> well, first thing first. So, generally, we don't want to make too long of the clothes because they will look my opinion a little bit funny so a very easy way is just to cut a triangular shape from our plastic credit card style source material this one's a little better than the credit card because it's a little bit softer so the clothes can be bent a little once they're ready. And now we trim it so it has this sharper look, sharper look. Here you go and just cut deep. And from the other side, just Ah, it broke. So, that's not a tragedy. So the material is cheap, so we can just cut another one. So this is the source. As you can see, this actually, this breakage will give it a jagged two-flag end, which is actually desirable. So we cut more and a little bit more. already very fragile here so I'll just remove it and we can make it as you can see in the hand 
I'm gonna have so many same direction thinkers, so let's make it almost nearly pink. Okay, so stick it in. Wait. Now it's time to cut. So this part which snapped off actually can be used as a thumb. We don't want the thumb to be too big. So Just a bit. And just remember that super glue tends to glue it on better to your fingers than to the plastic. I think it was designed that way to seal wounds as I remember. So Therefore, it is hard to let go sometimes. Okay, so here we have our right hand with the first claw, and here the toes. So again, try to sharpen the edge. The beauty of this is that even the claws can be used, see, they look quite well together, just a little bit bend them, they look a nice side each shape, so this one will be the next one, a bit of glue, just drop and just touch them together actually I think I will make the last claw a pinky so Recovered. So another one. Hmm. Okay, second claw. And now we need uh, another one. Because we have a more or less claw shape here. So we'll just continue cutting. This material is extremely nice. It's soft where it needs to be soft, it's hard as where it needs to be hard. So and our claw just fall off. Just a dab of super glue. it and then it's easier to straighten up something else let's say a hobby knife my hands are shaking actually if you notice that's great but they are shaking quite a bit I'm sticking to my finger more than to the desired surface as tends to happen. So. Hmm. 
No. Ooh, to put too much of a excessive amount of super glue here. The only thing is that if you use too much super glue, it will not glue itself super fast. It's just like the opposite. The more more you will add, and the less longer time it will take. So we have a nice jagged chromes. Let's see if there will be correct amount of fingers. So we leave it in a proper position so it can a little bit reshape itself with gravity. So now we continue with the other hand and we have some leftovers which will shoot us fine here. This one is not necessary. I again lost holes. But this one will be also fine. Just the bit we are looking for. Again, we can bend it a little bit. You can see there is a crack there, but it will kind of make itself more solid with the next layer of glue we're going to use. Because we're going to use quite a lot of glue. So, we start with the thumb. Fun. It's nice to have a compressor with your hands, not to mix it. We don't want to have two left hands on no, our no, flayed one. So, so this is some rubbish. So again. We have another piece. We are running out of material, oh, no problem. Now, a little bit higher, a little bit more bent. Nice thing is that if you use a lot of super glue on it, it will kind of be, give a consistency effect to it. So you don't have to worry too much about exceeding the amount of glue. But therefore, that doesn't give us the right to make our flame one all glued together. So here we have another leftover piece, just to even it out until it's a little bit Another nice thing about this material is that it's actually Cuts in a nice way, you can see the edge getting sharper and the illusion of it getting sharper. So, no other piece. And again, a little bit of gravity will help us. Just a bit. Separate the clothes. Now we need the pinky. Um, every time I say pinky, I have this song for me in my head from the cartoon Pinky in the Brain. I know how old you are. That kind of sticks in the head. So, 
I just think it would be a little bit longer than the last one. No matter. Those straight ones are insane if at the end. Kinda you can expect them to have ungeometric rhythm. Yeah. Geometry. Geometrically shaped hands. As the other neck bones. Neck bones go to perfection. Machine style. And these ones are the crazy guys. So being crazy kind of excludes them from being pedantic. As now, the final part is the pinky. Here we go. And a little bit adjustment. As I said, we will do some extra glue. Oh, come on, come on, don't fall. Some extra glue. Okay. And separate the fingers now. Now the heat is not so great as a couple of days ago, but it should be dry enough. So now you can see that the claw is more or less sharp now and we have some extra surface which we don't need so we'll just take our hobby pliers and remove it now we can see the claw looks quite nice Later, probably with a file or a grinder, I will remove the thing that will cut off. So here, unfortunately, it takes a little bit longer. We can wait. Well, that's it for the hands, yeah? They are not particularly sophisticated. But they make it over or look quite scary once they're painted. So, thank you very much for attention and have a nice day.